Hello friends, welcome to C Programming Video Tutorials series. In the previous video tutorial, we started discussing do while loop. We know that computer executes body of the do while loop at least once. Computer executes body of the do while loop at least once. And then it repeatedly executes body of the do while loop as long as the given conditional expression evaluates to true. Computer executes body of the do while loop as long as the given conditional expression evaluates to true. At any time the given conditional expression evaluates to false, then it terminates the loop guys. As we check the condition at the end of the loop, do while loop is considered as exit control loop guys. To understand do while loop, we have written a program to display hello world 5 times using do while loop. I told you that when we want to execute set of statements at least once, whether the conditional expression evaluates to true or false does not matter, then we use do while loop. When we want to execute set of statements at least once, we use do while loop guys. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss when to use do while loop with an example program. Remember that when we want to execute set of statements at least once, we use do while loop. Do while loop is used to create menu system, game loop, etc, 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 guys. To understand when to use do while loop, we are going to create guess the number game using do while loop, guys. Let's create guess the number game using do while loop. I minimize the word. I double click on code blocks icon to launch the code blocks IDE. You can see that code blocks IDE is launched. I'm going to create one new project. I say file, new, project. I select here projects, say console application, say go. Then I say next. I select C language, I say next. Then I give the project name, guess the number game. I say next, say finish. You can see that guess the number game project is created. I click on the plus sign. I double click on main.c to open. You can see that main.c file is open. I am going to delete this line of code which is not necessary. Here I say printf in double quotations. I say welcome to guess the number game backward slash n semicolon. If I say build and run, it displays welcome to guess the number game. I close it. Next what we do, I am going to generate a random number between 1 to 10. Computer should generate a random number between 1 to 10. So what I do, I am going to create one integer variable called as random number put the initial value inside it 0 guys to generate random numbers we take help of srand function srand function initializes the randomizer based on the given integer number it takes a seed in the form of integer number guys what srand function does it initializes the randomizer based on the given integer number so i am going to call the srand function s rand function. You can see that it takes an unsigned integer. To the srand function, we pass the current time in seconds. To get the current time in seconds, we take help of time function guys. Time of null returns current time in seconds. So what I do, here inside srand, I call the time function. To that I pass null value, semicolon. What srand of time of null does? S rand of time of null initializes the randomizer based on the current time. Once we initialize the randomizer, we can generate random numbers. Rand function based on the initialized randomizer, it generates a random number between 0 and maximum possible random number guys. I go back here, I say random number should be equal to generated random number guys. We can display the value inside random number variable. I say printf in double quotations. I say percentage d backward slash n comma random number semicolon. If I say build and run, it displays welcome to guess the number game and it has generated a random number 14,776. I close it. I say build and run. You can see that it has again displayed welcome to guess the number game and it has generated a random number 14812. So whenever I say build and run, it generates a new random number and that we are displaying here, you can see that. 
Actually, we want to generate a random number between 1 to 10. How do we do that? What we do? We say rand mod 10. Rand mod 10 generates a random number between 0 and 9 guys. What rand mod 10 does? It locks the generated random number between 0 and 9 guys. Let me go back here. I say rand mod 10. If I say build and run, you can see that it is it is generating the random number 2. I close it. I say build and run. It has generated the random number 8. I close it. I say build and run. It has generated the random number 5. I close it. I say build and run. You can see that it has generated the random number 1. So it generates a random number between 0 and 9. Let me explain it more clearly. I go to notepad. Here at the left hand side I have listed the numbers from 0 to 39. Okay, 0 mod 10 is 0, 1 mod 10 is 1, 2 mod 10 is 2, 3 mod 10 is 3 and so on, 9 mod 10 is 9 guys, 0 to 9, 10 mod 10 is 0, 11 mod 10 is 1, 12 mod 10 is 2, 13 mod 10 is 3 and so on, 19 mod 10 is 9, 0 to 9. 20 mod 10 is 0. 21 mod 10 is 1. 22 mod 10 is 2. 23 mod 10 is 3 and so on. 29 mod 10 is 9. 0 to 9. 30 mod 10 is 0. 31 mod 10 is 1. 32 mod 10 is 2. 33 mod 10 is 3 and so on. 39 mod 10 is 9. 0 to 9. You can see that it is locking the number between 0 and 9. Right guys? We want to generate the random number between 1 to 10. So what we do? We add plus 1 guys. It generates the random number between 1 and 10. Because 0 plus 1 is 1. 9 plus 1 is 10. I go back here. I am going to put this expression inside brackets. Then I say plus 1. If it generates 0, 0 plus 1 is 1. If it generates 9, 9 plus 1 is 10. If I say build and run, it has generated the random number 4. I close it. I say build and run. It has generated the random number 10. I close it. I say build and run. It has generated the random number 6. So it generates a random number between 1 and 10 guys. We have successfully generated the random number, right? I delete this line. Next what we do? We are going to ask user to guess a random number between 1 to 10. Okay. So I say here printf. In double quotations I say guess the number between 1 to 10 colon semicolon. Then I say here scanf. In double quotations I say percentage %d comma. I am going to create one integer variable called as num, put the initial value inside it 0. Here we are going to give address of num semicolon. And then we can display the value inside num. I say here printf in double quotations, I say percentage %d backward slash n comma num semicolon. If I say build and run, you can see that we got welcome to guess the number game displayed. It is asking guess the number between 1 to 10. If I say here 3, hit enter, you can see that it has displayed 3. 3 is stored in the num and we are displaying the value of num here. I close it. So that is how we get the number from the user. Next what we do, we are going to check if generated random number is equal to equal to user guessed number. If both are same, then we say printf in double quotations, we say u1 exclamation mark backward slash n semicolon. If the random number and the user guess number both are different, then what we do? We say printf in double quotations we say you lost backward slash n. The number is equal to percentage d. I say comma. We display the generated random number guys. Let's check out what happens now. If I say build and run, it is telling guess the number between 1 to 10. I guess 5. I hit enter. 
it is telling you 1. That's great. I close it. I say build and run again. Let me guess 4. I hit enter. It is telling you lost. The number is 8. You can see that we have written a code for guess the number game. To play this game again and again, I need to build and run this game again and again guys. I don't want to do that. I want to ask user, do you want to replay this game again? If he says yes, we replay the game guys. If he says no, we stop playing the game. So we have to execute this code again and again repeatedly guys, right? So we take help of do while loop. So what I do, I'm going to create here one character variable called as ch. Initially, I store y inside it. y indicates yes, okay? And then what we do, we put this code inside do while loop. I say here do, opening floor bracket, closing floor bracket. Here I say while ch is equal to equal to y. The body of the do while loop is executed as long as the ch is y guys. I'm going to cut this code from here, say control x. I put that inside do while loop. Let me select this code and indent it inside so that we can format the code properly. Next what I do, at the end of first gameplay, I say here printf in double quotations I say do you want to replay question mark in brackets I say y or no s or no colon semicolon and then I'm going to get the input I say here scanf in double quotations I say space percentage c comma address of ch semicolon if I say build and run you see that welcome to guess the number game is displayed and then it is telling guess the number between 1 to 10. You can see that this code is executed once. As we know that do while loop executes set of statements at least once. Right guys? It is telling guess the number between 1 to 10. We are going to enter a number. Let me enter 3. I hit enter. You can see that it is telling you lost. The number is 8. And then it is asking do you want to replay? It is asking do you want to replay guys? I can enter y or n. I say yes, I want to replay. I hit enter. It is again telling guess the number between 1 to 10. As ch is y, it is re-executing the do while loop body guys. You can see that. It is telling guess the number between 1 to 10. Again I guess, let's guess 4. I hit enter. You lost. The number is 5. Uh oh. I say y. Yes, I want to replay. I hit enter. Let me guess 3. I hit enter. You lost. The number is 10. Do you want to replay? Yes. I hit enter. Let me guess 7. I hit enter. You won. You can see that I won the game. It is telling, do you want to replay? I say no. I hit enter. You can see that the do while loop is exited. I close it. We have successfully wrote the code for guess the number game guys. Then what I do, if user says no I don't want to play the game, then what I do, I say here printf, in double quotations I say you played awesome backward slash n semicolon I say here printf in double quotations see you next time backward slash n semicolon before this printf I say printf in double quotations I add two blank lines semicolon I also add a blank line here printf in double quotations I say backward slash n semicolon and I add a blank line here also I say printf in double quotations, I say backward slash n semicolon. Let me say build and run. You can see it is telling, welcome to guess the number game. Guess the number between 1 to 10. Let me guess 1. I hit enter. It is telling you lost. The number is 5. Do you want to replay? I say yes. I hit enter. Let me guess the number 3. I hit enter. You lost. The number is 10. Do you want to replay? Yes, I want to replay. I hit enter. Let me guess 7. I hit enter. You lost. The number is 10. You can see that I am unable to win the game. I say no. Do you want to replay? I say no. I hit enter. You can see that it is telling you played awesome. See you next time. I close it. I minimize the code blocks. I minimize the word. I minimize the notepad. I open all C projects folder. Inside that we have guessed the number game. I double click to open it. Inside the bin folder we have debug folder. 
Inside the debug folder, we have our guess the number game application guys. It's an exe file. If I double click, it plays the game. Welcome to guess the number game it is telling. Guess the number between 1 to 10 it is telling. I say 3. I hit enter. It is telling you lost. The number is 7. Do you want to replay? I say yes. I hit enter. It is telling guess the number between 1 to 10. Let me guess 3. I hit enter. It is telling you lost. The number is 9. Do you want to replay? I say no. If I hit enter, check out what happens. If I hit enter, the console closes automatically, right? What I want is, I want the user should see this message. You played awesome. See you next time. Here, the console is automatically getting closed, right? So what I do, I make the console to wait for a character. To do that, we are going to say here, get ch function. We are going to call the get ch function. It makes the console to wait for a character input, guys. I say build and run. Okay, I close it. I minimize the code blocks. I double click on guess the number game. You can see that it is displaying welcome to guess the number game. Guess the number between 1 to 10. Let me guess 5. I hit enter. It is telling you lost. The number is 6. Uh oh. Let's say yes. I want to replay the game. I hit enter. It is telling guess the number between 1 to 10. Let me guess 3. I hit enter. It is telling you lost. The number is 8. Do you want to replay? I say yes. I hit enter. This time I guess 9. I hit enter. It is telling you lost. The number is 7. I am not unable to win. So what I do? It is telling do you want to replay? I say no. I hit enter. You can see that this time the console is not closing automatically. Right? It is telling you played awesome. See you next time. And it is waiting for the character input. I hit enter. The console closes guys. Congratulations guys. We have successfully wrote a code for guess the number game. You can give this exe file to your friends to play this game and enjoy. I hope you guys have clearly understood when do we use do while loop. I think for this video tutorial, this much is enough friends. I suggest you people to watch this video again and again, understand everything clearly. In the upcoming video tutorials, we are going to discuss more about C programming language. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.